for sale 1967 Pontiac GTO. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 67 GTO. Finished in factory correct fathom blue with black interior and the black vinyl top. Of course, 242 VIN GTO, real deal. Uh, special car, one repaint, just like the red one I have, ironically. Uh, finished in the factory color. This one has its number matching 400. It is a four factory four speed, excuse me. Power steering with the factory option power front disc brakes. Rally gauges so it has the tack in the dash. Uh, it's a two owner with documented original miles, just about 52 or 53,000. Um, all steel body, of course. And then I believe I have a receipt for it back in the day where they added AC into it. Of course, that's still in the car. Uh, a bunch of ownership paperwork, original bill of sale, manual, warranty, protection plan, receipts throughout time, copy of the original title. Uh, so, you know, it always, you know, tell you more about it, show you more about it, and then drive it. Uh, so we will start here in the front. You got its original bumper here. See just a little bit of smoke right on top there. The fitment of the hood in the front here is super nice. I just see a couple. I just I just saw one, a little baby touch up right there. Two more right there. Another uh, common thing, of course. The fitment of that hood is excellent. The quality of the paint is very similar to the red one, which I just listed. Uh, except this is this car's original color course and there's just a few more miscellaneous marks on the car that you'll see uh, so let me go ahead and pop the hood here okay it's born with 400 motor with the original air cleaner on it you see the AC unit on here which is hooked up as you see brake booster for the front disc and the power steering uh, original hood insulation under there still, you know, in intact original condition. Nice under hood still. Trim tag is in place. This is nice. The original, all this black is original. Um, uh, the AC, it turns, it's not seized. It needs a bearing replaced in it uh, to allow the uh, clutch to catch it. So that, that's the one thing the AC needs. Um, but again, you see this, this is the original motor, uh, original exhaust manifolds on there, intake, all that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, this is this is all nice and clean in here. Same thing as this side here, you see the power steering. So, um, it's very smooth running. Again, the one thing the AC needs. <laughs> But, but it's pretty cool. I have the receipt for it when that was done. Uh, very cool. Every piece of metal on the car except this fender is original. And I actually have the original fender. And they replaced it with a GM fender. I have the box. That's where the fender's in. Um, so again, what you're getting here is perfect GM fitment. Of course, it's not the China BS. Um, Anyway, we'll keep going here. Your PMD wheels, Pontiac rallies. I have the spare Pontiac in the trunk. Again, special thing. I'm getting excited about the car. I apologize. Um, nice fitment here. Uh, this, this lower molding, super nice as well. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, all original glass, trim. The vinyl top's original. Everything looks fantastic. No bubbles in the vinyl top, absolutely not. Go on and hop in the car now. Interior, totally original. And a lot of it really looks like new. 
both bucket seats look like new. I mean, look, look at this down here. It doesn't even look compressed from being sat in. Uh, your factory four speed shifter. Dash, beautiful. Try and get the sun out here. There we go. The wood grain on the dash. I know I said the red one was excellent. This is even nicer than that. Uh, you see the tack, of course. 53,755. Carpet's awesome, too. I mean, that, that's always a nice thing to see. Dash pad, no cracks in it. The factory radio. I believe the factory radio works. Let me stick the key in there. Uh, there's your Sears unit. Rest in peace. I think the last one in Illinois just closed on Sunday. Uh, not too far from where we are. LA natives, DeMar DeRozan, and Alonzo Ball. Another nice thing about the car, I know it's not a big deal, but I always notice that reverse lights don't work. They work on this car, which is awesome. Seat back, very nice. Door panels in the back seat. I mean, this all really, really looks like new. I mean, and the headliner is awesome. So we'll keep going here. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll keep going here. Oh, okay, I was going to say it. A couple things I missed. One, touch up right there. That you see, you kind of saw it when I moved like that right there. Three little baby touch-ups here. And then the only thing really wrong with the exterior is it looked like it was scraped. And you almost don't even see it. It blends almost very nicely. A couple scratches that were touched up right there. Um, but the other side has nothing like that. So we'll keep moving on here. Again, no bubbles in this lower quarter. No bubbles anywhere on the lower, of course. Uh, I, ju I just saw it. One, two, three little marks right there. Bumper is just about as, uh, the same as the front original, of course, not re -chrome, So a couple marks right there. Mark right there. getting the idea of the rest of course all four tail lights work and like I said the reverse light works too excellent trunk fitment so pop the trunk open pop oh, monkey a uh, special thing about the trunk, and you'll see it just in a second. And I always get excited about it. Original spatter paint in the trunk. It's never been painted. It's the original trunk pan. Again, all the floors, totally original. I'll get to that after the trunk. Um, stamping. Stamping. I forgot to show you two stampings in the engine. When I get around, then I'll show you that. Uh, good weather stripping here all the way around. And nice finish again. Um, nicely painted under trunk with the jacking instructions. You get two Pontiac floor mats, your jack and your tire iron, your spare, your original trunk mat, original factory mat. Uh, you see the original spatter paint throughout covering the original quarters here. I love, I love that. Absolutely love that. Um, and of course your trunk pan. Okay. A little bit of surface on it of course moisture on a car from 1967 that's going to happen but this is as solid as can be jump up and down in it with your family and uh of course i i, I would do that but you get the idea it looks just as awesome as this let me show you from this angle here too all the originality in this batter paint there super cool paperwork time <laughs> let me slide it all out I rarely show a title. I rarely show a title, but the car is a two owner. And I just want to show the gentleman owned it since 1976. That was when he bought the car from the original owner. Okay. Uh, building order, something else. 
I have the PHS docks for it. Fathom blue, of course. Here are your factory options, so in case I did not mention them all. Push button manual antenna, door edge guards, lamp luggage, uh, rally gauge cluster and tachometer, four speed fully synchronized, of course. Safety track, rear axle, wide oval, red, so maybe they were red lines, possibly. Uh, soft array windshield and your disc brakes up front, so the power front disc. What is that car? It's stupid loud. Um, 400 four speed, of course. Four speed manual, 323 three rear, black interior, black Cordova top, fathom blue. I know you don't need to see me go through all this. Here's that. Uh, and then, of course, your news from Pontiac, yada, yada, yada. Same thing as always. And then your production numbers. Uh, original paperwork. Here it is. Sears, the AC, which 1972, I believe, 1972. Oh, those mounting tires. I have it somewhere in here. I got it. I got you see the paperwork here. Um, this tires. Here's Roebuck. This is a thing from 69, 29,000 miles. Okay, anyway, bunch of bunch of receipts for the car. Here's an old registration card. Uh, 76, I just, I know this because I looked at this before. Bear with me. You probably see it before I will. Anyway, this was, I believe this expired right before the gentleman, the second owner bought it. More receipts, more receipts, more receipts. Okay, you know, that's not the super exciting stuff. Here's your original manual from the selling dealer. Uh, Robert Brunt was the original owner. Adams Pontiac. Let's open this up. Original manual. A little accessory book. Here is your owner protection plan and new vehicle warranty with the plate. Which is right there, Adams Pontiac. There you go. I'm not even looking at the camera. I hope you were thinking all, seeing all this. <laughs> uh, copy of the original title, Robert Brunt. Okay, and then yeah, let me see here. Is that everything? No. The last piece is. Adams Pontiac invoice for the car. Robert Brunt as it closed. Uh, had the warranty, of course. We got that. You saw that. He gave a $200 deposit. What a baller. Uh, date order 2-17-1967. Anyway, uh, we'll keep going here. I'm going to open this up. So when I come back, nothing moved. We'll come back to that. Oh, my back. All right. Keep going. A little brush right here that you see. But the paint here, super nice. So this car has the nice, which I'm sure you, I don't have to tell you, but variety of originality, uh, of course, with the number matching, uh, originality with the paperwork. Uh, the low miles is nice, of course. So again, I don't have to tell you, you pretty much know. I'm just rambling out here. It will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, let me know. Um, wanted to show you something real quick. It should. Am I in gear? I hope I'm not in gear. Let's just, yep. Let's take it. I 
can't take it out of gear. Oh, should be in neutral. I wanted to show you this. And this it just functions perfectly. Like I said, the AC just needed that bearing. All right, 67 GTL, finished in factory colors, number matching, factory four speed, power steering, power front disc, and AC. 3,000 miles to owner. Anyway, we're getting to that point now where we're going to fire it up and drive it, and I will hop in for the driving video. But quickly stamping right there stamping right there so here we go It's such a such a change from that that one we used to have, you know, with the 428. Because that ran that ran loud. You know what I mean? It's very tame, both of them. Not all of them have tax. No, it's barely gauge package. The red one doesn't have that. I have it already. The only paper I have is in here. I know it all. I'll write it on the sheet. I'm like a book. Good. Write it on the sheet. I'm like a historian with the cars. Are we going to events after this? Yeah. Huh. Maybe we should bring our... He said he's been trying to fluid and everything. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> no, it was a six volt. You can't jump the stupid thing. Six volt? Yeah. But the battery is... Uh... No, he said it was getting a little lower today. We don't have a six volt jump box, do we? No. We could bring the battery charger. With the extension cord? Yeah. Well, he's probably got an extension cord, but. Oh, it does run really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a car. Portfolios to their specific goals and needs. We even offer resources on Social Security, Medicare, oh, Social Security, Medicare. Medicare for the for the clients that are on Medicare. 